Let's have a look at the section editor in FemDesign, which can be accessed from the left menu bar or by just typing the shortcut S-E-C-E. -E. Here is the section editor where we can create our new cross section. Let's start by drawing the sections. Here you have a basic drawing tool and you can draw different shapes in different ways. You can also create holes in this surface. an example of drawing your own section. I also have the option to insert section into drawing. I can choose from the section library whatever section I want and import it. and customize or create my own cross-section. For this example, I'm going to modify these two sections that I've entered into my workspace, and I'm going to merge them together using a simple modify region and union tool, which is pick existing region, delete second region. And now I have a new cross-section geometry. Next up, I want to align the center of gravity of this new section with the origin, my zero, zero coordinates. So using the query tool, I choose perimeter area, center of gravity, pick existing region, and use this tool just automatically calculates the perimeter of the area and the position of the center of gravity. Insert the point there so I can identify it. And now I can move it, my section, by that point. And just place it in the, cent in the um, origin. After that, I move to the right here in my menu and say calculate. In the calculated data section, I can see the, the geometrical properties of this newly created cross section. I will then want to insert my section to the library. I'll choose my destination, the steel sections, custom type, and then I'll say a size two times Back in FemDesign, I can choose this section now from my library where it's been added. In the steel sections, I can see I have a custom. And I can start using my profile for calculations and design. You can also open already created drawings. So if I go to File, Open, I can select here DWG format and choose my drawings. And I can see that the profile is created with, with lines from a DWG file. And I can start drawing and creating my profile from these lines. I can use the draw section to quickly pick the lines and adding the holes for my hollow core in this case. So 
So that was pretty fast. If already I have the section drawn in a CAD file, I can just open it and create my profile from there.